Although the 4th of July is a fun time for humans to celebrate with spectacular fireworks, barbecues, laying poolside, it's not always as fun for our pets. Many animals find fireworks terrifying, freezing in fear or in the most dangerous circumstances running away. More pets are lost during the week of the 4th of July than any other time of the year. Fortunately, there are ways to be prepared in advance of fireworks season and measures owners can take to help relax their pets. And joining us now is the author of Emotional Freedom Technique for Animals and Their Humans, Creating a Harmonious Relationship Through Tapping. Joan Rankett is joining us on the program right now. Joan, thanks so much for being with us uh, on this holiday weekend. It's, I guess, maybe the uh, best of times, worst of times, if you're looking at what's going going on in the holidays. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Yeah, it can be very terrifying for our animal friends because they hear these terrible sounds and they don't know where they're coming from. You're, this is not a new thing. I mean, this is something that we experience uh, all the time, especially if you have a pet. And it can be, I mean, to say traumatic is not an overstatement when we're talking about some of our, uh, the, the people, that, you know, the animals that live with us. Absolutely, very traumatic and terrifying. And like you said, this is a time when, you know, the most animals kind of run away. So it's, um, and they keep running, like they, they get far away because they can't get out of that fight or flight. What are some of the signs we should look for to know if our pets might start to feel overwhelmed with what's going on? Well, you might see behavior changes like um, digging, shredding, you might see them breathing heavily. You might see them licking. Um, you might see them lethargic because they're very depressed and they don't know what to do. So all of those can be signs of, you know, being very terrified. Joan, when when animals are starting to get fear uh, in fear for what's going on with the sounds, and you're in that moment, what are some of the best things you can do? Well, one of the best things you can do is make sure that they've got a calm, safe space to go be in. Because if you think about dogs, you know, they come from the wolves and they all love their den. So if you can have a safe space. Another thing is just having calming strokes, which this is the bladder sweep, which you're going down a bladder meridian. And as you can see, she just started to yawn a little bit and release and soften. She really wants to chase one of my cats right now. So she was on high alert a second ago. Um, and then the other is tapping, EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique, and you tap around the eye and on the nose and on the chin and the chest, and you say calming statements like, I'm safe, I'm safe. These are all on acupressure points, and the acupressure points are connected to meridians, which are connected to organs, which are connected to um, emotions. And see, she's starting to calm, even though she wants to, as I said, go chase it, it goes back to the, just the, the contact that they enjoy with their owners as well as, I guess it's kind of a nice distraction in a way, right? Yeah, and it feels good. These are all calming points. In traditional Chinese medicine, these specific points are kind of happy points or calming points. And so when you use the specific points, you really can start to calm them down. Joan, as we wind things down here, uh, maybe uh, uh, you can offer our viewers uh, an online resource where they can find out more about this as we get closer to the holiday. Well, they can go to my website, joanrandbutt.com, or you can always get a quick Kindle version of Emotional Freedom Technique and see where the points are and what to say. We do have uh, just enough time. I want to find out who is with us right here and uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of dog. This is Penelope, and she's got some Kelpie, which means she wants to herd the cats. Okay. And a little border. <laughs> so she's a real herder. She wants to make sure everyone is in their correct place. That's that's her job, right? I mean, that's what she does, right? Exactly. Outstanding. Yeah. Once, ag once again, the book is Emotional Freedom Technique for Animals and Their Humans. Joan Rankett joining us. More on Good Morning Hawaii when we come back.